Hello everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying the course right now. I'm Johnny Jackson from Evolve Dentistry and I put together a little slide show today and a little uh, presentation about how we can uh, integrate and maximize the data that we capture from Modja and put it into OxoCAD and how uh, predictable this process is for our patients. So I've been doing a bunch of cases kind of with Modja. I start with same day kind of design. We do a wax up pre-design and then we'll make a digital wax up model and Doc will use that to help him prep and then he'll prep it and then send me all the data of the prep teeth and we will adapt it. But before this, he takes that Maja record and I'm able to add this to the wax up and then adapt it with that uh, functions that the patient has from their kinematics. So here's a little video of our same day design. Tap, 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 and tap, tap, tap. So you can see how we don't really have any occlusal adjustments. Doc prints it on the 3D printer real quick and then he'll bond it in. It turns out really well. So we also have to focus on how that works in XOK. And in order to do that, we need to use the proper movements and kind of depict how these movements work and assess the condyle function of these movements. And we call this kinematics. Maybe we even need to change the type of kinematic function and how it works. And we're able to assess maybe if the patient has a pathologic or magic occlusional scheme. And we have our common stable data references that we need to use. Maybe our, we need to do a scan mid prep. And that kind of looks like this. So Doc did kind of a tripod and we had left the molars and the anterior eight and nine in order to match this data properly because soft tissue kind of changes and you can see on the hard palette it looks all intertwining so yeah um, if we go to our exocad software this is where we'll focus on our uh, condyle function of the left condyle maybe the right condyle so if i select our lateral left it'll show our cropped kinematics and then we get to activate that motion so I crop the motions inside the Maja software because in the Maja software they are long durations of patient recording and we need to uh, assess that condyle function through this recording and then clip the motion just so we have a little snippet of that functional movement because we don't need them going crazy everywhere we just need that one little super accurate piece of that kinematics so this is the long duration of 14 seconds and then the patient does it a couple times and then we can see how the left sagittal plane kind of fluidly so this is a very nice condyle fluid function and this was with the Thompson that we had done with the same day design and then we used the maja again and we recorded and also assessed how that worked out so we have the data from before the temps and then after that they've been wearing the temps and we got to get some habitable forming occlusion in these flexor if i escape this go back to exocad so i crop those movements and i'll bring that in in the tools button and we'll open the jaw movement and you'll open the XML. And I like selecting the lateral left, lateral right, speech, and then we want our centric relation and it'll generate a virtual imprint. And that is kind of how the motions all fluidly move. And that would be our cutting tool against the antagonist of the teeth. We can run through these movements kind of just by switching this and you can just see and assess but I mainly use these virtual imprints when I'm designing the case to see what I have to cut and smooth and remove and what what areas I need to restrict so up here we could do our dynamic interference of contact we can also turn that off and on and you can just make it 
uh, close all contact uh, showing the static you can see we're not ready and then this is with a millimeter of distance of force so this is a spacing and then interference is it touching at first point of contact so you have to kind of think about it as first point of contact and kind of assess the occlusal pattern of the collar map wheel and how that works so let me turn on my antagonist real quick and we can run through the movement very nice I want it riding right along that thing of the canine and this case was an amazing no adjust case and we've done a couple of them now full mount rehabs but they're great for super splints there's a lot of dumb docs using that in super splints we might fix this sagittal comp and how that functions but that's about all i have for you today thanks for watching and uh make sure to ask tristan if you need anything all right everyone see ya